right here now it's Jaffrish coming to you live and alive from the city of Jaffrish representing for all the underdogs worldwide big up every ghetto boy and girl when I stop chanting reality business coming to you straight back up by the front door and even go through your gate you know I'm the youth that said trend don't beg friend don't follow men love women girls recommend I don't pretend Jaffrish is here again live and alive in living colors it's been a while people you know last year I did uh, about four videos minimum per month. Now I'm doing like probably this is like my like probably one a month on average. Um, you know, or close to that. You know, it's a blessing, definitely. I'm grateful for everybody that keeps viewing, sharing, commenting, liking, subscribing. I appreciate that to the maximum. Now, today we're going to talk about some views. And issues in relationship in today's era. You see, the thing is, there's an old saying, you know, in Jamaica they say it like this, wanty, wanty, can't get it, get it, get it, don't want it. Now, it's simply, it's a principle. You know, biblically, there's a principle Christ shared with the disciples. He said to them, he who gives up his life will save his life, and he who tries to save his life will lose his life. It basically means the things that you going after the hardest is the things that you would lose or more likely not succeed in um, because you're going after it so hard. You know, things like relationship, they uh, we met that here and we're probably going to leave that here. They, they should come naturally. They shouldn't be forced. Um, how do I say? It shouldn't be forced. It shouldn't be something that is... I don't want to use the word priority, but definitely it shouldn't be really... Um, a lot of people, what they try to do is coordinate, schedule, and anticipate, and they have a lot of expectations of what should be or happen in the relationship. I truly believe in order for a relationship to be successful and work, it thinks certain things should happen naturally. I always say you can plan where, who, and why to fall in love. Definitely can't plan when either. Um, these things should happen naturally in order for you to be realistic. I always say also never to set or place limitations on true love, not based on finances or lack of, not based on distance, not based on status. You know, uh, I see a lot of posts on Facebook about should you be with a guy who does this, should you be with a woman who said that. You know, realistically, if the chemistry is there, and if that person is making an effort with you also, definitely go for it. It should be, it should come naturally, man. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be feeling like work. I posted recently on my Facebook, I said, you know, if your relationship feels like work, it's time for a vacation. Because your relationship should feel like a vacation, not work. I hear a lot of people say relationships are work. Your relationship should not feel like work in order for it to work. Get it? It's not a joke. It's just reality. You know, I'm keeping it real. And it's like I said sometime before, you know, the videos that I post are based on um, things I can relate to or some of my personal experience may it have been what I listened to or seen in somebody else's life and or relationship or depending on the topic I'm um, speaking about at that present time. Now, um... One thing I want to do, there's about there's four things I want to mention right now. One, in the aspect of relationship, always try to remember, never lose the sense of your true value. See, if you understand, if one understands their true self-worth and value, they will give no discount. Basically, they won't settle. In this time here, it's not time to settle. It's time to be assertive, be sure of what you want. You can ask someone, name or list the things you're looking for in a partner or spouse. They won't hesitate. They can start, they have it memorized. But if you ask them, what are the things you're not looking for in a spouse or partner? They would start, they would stop and think. Because realistically, we don't think about these things as human beings. We think about what we want in the person. He should walk like this. She should look like that. You know. But we should start understanding our true value. So this way we give no discounts and no bargain. No 
settling. All right? Actions speak louder than words, seeing is believing. You need to verify certain things about people these days. See, what we tend to do in relationships now, most people go based on visual, what they see in the person's picture, social media, what they post. We say you need to start verifying certain information before we go full speed ahead. We have to be cautious in this time here, right? Where as far as relationships are concerned. All right? Uh... Another thing, we try not to use the old days strategy in today's era. Realistically, things have changed. You have to understand this. Long time, a man would go to uh, the, the house of the young lady he, was, he wanted to see, court or date, and get permission from her parents. And then some time after that, in the next generation, what they did was they had to even go ask for the hand of the woman in marriage. Now, these strategies don't apply in today's era. And we have to understand these things. We can't be ignorant to the facts. The quicker we understand the era, the time, and the situation of relationship or dating, we would have we would know how to walk or how to steer the car better. Because if you know there's a few potholes in the road ahead or few speed bumps, you will drive slower or more cautious. So look at it that way. If you understand the time that we live in, the social media time and the time where showing of one's body is acceptable and certain things that were not acceptable in those times they are now so we have to understand we cannot use the old strategy in today's era okay two do not take temporary things or people and make it permanent in your life or relationship i'll say that again do not take the things that are supposed to be temporary and make it permanent in your life that's where you end up in a lot of relationship problems trust that so evaluate the situation evaluate the person and figure out is this something temporary is this person temporary uh, is the situation temporary do not make it permanent you're going to end up with a lot of problems heartache and pain three good things come to those who wait you see like i said long time relationships used to last longer they were healthier they were based on morals and trust in today's age we don't have so much of that you know uh someone could just make a profile on facebook and start talking to other people um sometimes they don't, they don't even need to do that other people start talking to them you know um so it's easier to cheat in this time here um however i see a lot of people jumping from one relationship to the other and this is not helpful either. Sometimes you need to take some time, like I mentioned, and evaluate yourself. Learn your true self. Learn the pros and the cons about yourself. The good things you possess about you. Learn, understand your true value. And that way you won't be bagging in or giving any discounts to anyone. And not only that, but you get a chance to really learn how to enjoy yourself. Learn how to spend time with yourself. How to appreciate yourself. And this way, you don't feel the need that you always need somebody there in your life next to you. And um, because a lot of times, those are the temporary situations that turn permanent. You just needed some company at the time, and you end up in something permanent with the wrong person. So, good things come to those ways. Remember that. It's Jaffrey's coming to you live on the Life from the City of Jaffrey. I hope this video message was helpful in one way or the other if you think so share it with your friend or neighbor your sister or your brother or even your mother child for each there in order represent it i tell you this like comment share subscribe you can find me on ig jaff reach j-a-h-f and the word reach, like I'm about to reach over there. We keep reaching for the top, reaching for the stars. Snapchat, Jaff Reach, the number one. The numeral number one. All right? Jaff Reach and the Jaff Come. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube. Just do a Google search. You can find out a lot more about me that way. And definitely, I'm looking forward to interacting with you guys in the future.
Chaff reach to the world, people. Reaching out. Until another time. Chaff reach.